gonna call the school about it and, and just, just talk, talk to Carly's teacher, teacher make sure, make sure that, that she didn't nab someone, someone else's, else's backpack. Because <laughs> it, it feels that way. Good morning, Mountain Family! So today is every mom's favorite day of the year. We look forward to this all year long, the pre-Christmas clean out. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year. So before we get to all the fun, I have a phone call to make. So Devin has been complaining for a while that I need to get my hearing checked. And I've been having this complaint since I was a kid. Like, I'm very serious. My dad and my stepmom, maybe even my mom. Well, maybe not. But I do know my dad and my stepmom have been telling me since I was like, I don't know, at least a preteen that I need to get my hearing checked. Kristen, you need to get your hearing checked. And they're your parents, so you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But then I grew up and I got married and now my husband is saying, Kristen, you need to get your hearing checked. You need to get your hearing checked. So now I'm like, okay, well, I don't know, maybe I should. I didn't know I had a vision problem until I got my vision checked and then the guy was like, yeah, you don't have 20-20 vision. And I was like, oh, whoops, <laughs> I don't? Okay, so I don't know, maybe I do have a hearing problem. So I'm gonna make an appointment. My name is Kristen Hall and I was just wondering if I could set up an appointment to get my hearing tested. Okay, so that was like a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> uh, there's just like a place pretty close by. You don't have to have insurance because they don't bill anything. It's free to get your hearing tested. So I have an appointment like in two days because <laughs> she was like, can you come this Saturday? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. I guess we'll see what happens. Where did you go while I was making my appointment call? Um, Are you eating chips? Would you like some with lunch? Yeah. Would you? And those are mommy's favorite chips in the whole world. <laughs> Do you want the pretzels or the chips? Okay, those, I figured. Well, I don't know what we're having for lunch, but I'll figure it out. Because it's almost grocery day. Grocery day's on Saturday, today's Thursday. So we only have to make it two more days. And then we can get some actual food in this house. Yay! So I guess peanut butter sandwich on rye bread, which isn't the best, and potato chips is going to be it. Oh, except for you. Kinley wants one of these uncrustable things, but it's frozen, so you're going to have to just wait for it to unfreeze. In the meantime, I have some chips for you, but Kinley, 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 get down. Get down. I don't want you to fall, honey. Yeah, our, our drawers, they broke. She will eat it frozen, but I just won't let her because that can't be good. <laughs> I love you too. Well, I'm done eating, but Kenley over here just got started on her sandwich. It feels like the li like the center, like the little bit of the center, I guess, is still a tad cold, but she's insisting. It's time to clean out your room. <laughs> Mama is ready to get the broken or never played with toys out of here. <laughs> Are you ready, Kenley? Yeah. You better hide your toys, hide your dolls, because Mom is up in your room with the trash bag and I'm taking all of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, now that I've cleared the room of the things that we don't want because they're broken or never used or they're so disgusting that you can't even like save it, they're over here. It is now time for me to 
go through the toys we do have and sort what Kinley and Andy can play with and what Carly can play with. They like never play in this room and I 100% believe it's because there's not a ton of organization in here. They have like sort of a toy box and that's about it. So I'm really wanting to get some organizational things in here. Another reason I believe Carly doesn't really play in here is because there's not a whole lot of age appropriate toys for her. She's getting a little older <laughs> and she's all of a sudden expressed great interest in My Little Pony and Barbies. So there's stuff in here that she's really not going to play with because they're more for like one and two year olds and she's becoming a three and a half she'll be four in june so you know she's just growing up and her interest in toys is branching out so hopefully for christmas we can get her lots of toys that she's interested in and she'll want to play in here somebody is awake i think i think i heard her is she awake Oh, she's not. She has a toy gun. How did you get the toy gun? In your bed, princess. Who gave that to you? Did your sister gave that to you? She gave it to you. She d you did? Well, thank you for confirming that. I appreciate that. Are you awake and hungry? Huh? Oh, that's my girl. Springs up at the first sound of food. Yes. What to get, sissy? Why is there bread on my floor? Okay, anyway. What do we want for Miss Andy? It says organic on it, so I have to give that to her, right? Yeah? Be the good mom and give her the organic stuff first. This is yogurt. She might like this. Let's see how you feel about this. Can you pick it up? We're still trying to figure out this whole self-feeding thing. She's still like, eh, whatever, feed me a bottle, make me happy. Oh, that's going to spill out just like that. Here, look, look. Are you all better now? You are. So I can finish what I need to do before Sissy comes home? Oh, her poor little nose. Do you all see? Her poor little nose, it's all red. And it's even like, it's, it's a little open. Because she has a runny nose, I have to keep wiping it. So her little nose is all raw right there. Hmm. I feel bad for you. Well, before I go in there and organize, I should probably come in here and clean. Get all the toys out of here that don't belong, like this gigantic horse that was given to us by our neighbor. So it was a hand-me-down, and the girls have never played with it. So you're getting out of here today. Got to put this stuff somewhere. I don't even know where to, like... I don't even know how to get rid of this. I really don't because in order to throw things away where I live, they want everything in bags. I don't know how to put that in a bag. <laughs> I might have to just keep it in here until I can talk to Devin and be like, hey, what do we do with this bassinet? Because we can't, we can't give it to somebody else. It's disgusting. Look at that. There is no washing that out. That's, that's gross. I've tried. It's just, it's just stained. It's just like that. I'm not giving that to another woman. Uh-uh. I'm not, no. So this can go downstairs though. So this will go in our basement and I don't even know. We'll figure something out, I guess. it's about time to get Carly off the bus so I'm gonna have to halt once again <laughs> the clean out okay. here you want me to take your backpack let me take your backpack no okay fine then here you want me to take your jacket instead did they give you that backpack because that's not yours I didn't send you to school with that did they give that to you? Can I see in it? Can mommy see it? Yeah. Are you sure you didn't take someone else's backpack, Carly? Yeah. Because there's a bunch of clothes in here that are not yours. And those are the clothes that you had on when you left the house today. So you didn't have an accident. So I know that. So where did these come from? The clothes. They're not Carly's because they're way big. This is a size six. You won't be in this for another three years or so. Like there's no way you're going to wear that. This is like a five. You're, you're a three T. And these are fours. This, this is a four T. 
You're not even close to a 4T. You're still in 3T stuff very well. I'm gonna call the school about it and just talk to Carly's teacher, make sure that she didn't nab someone else's backpack because <laughs> it feels that way. Please go upstairs with mommy so I can finish cleaning upstairs. Yep. Come on. Okay. Okay. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> I hope you guys actually heard what she said. I don't know if you did, but she goes, Whoa! Carly cleaned upstairs. You didn't clean upstairs. I did. Mommy cleaned upstairs. <laughs> you want to see your room? This is why I did this when Carly was at school. There's a reason. It's clean, huh? For the better part. See, yeah. this is your backpack right there. I don't know whose backpack you came home with, but <laughs> I'm going to have to give it back to her. <laughs> what do you think? Um, it's a room. It's your room? Yeah. Yeah, Mommy's going to put all the toys that you play with in here.